Good day everyone and welcome back to Clean Cut EDC. Yes, we are doing a Spider Co unboxing today. An unboxing and first look. Now to be honest, this is not really going to be a first look. I have held this knife before, but this is the first look for me. Right? This is the first time I'm holding the Delica as my knife. I have a sharpening business, so I see many knives coming through on the table, and therefore, you know, I do have an impression of all of them that come through. So, yeah, but for me, experiencing my Spyderco Delica today and talking about it, I got this from Matthew. He shipped it from Golden, Colorado, USA. This knife is made in Japan because this is the Spyderco Delica, and there it is. Oh, I love the boxes of. Of Spyderco. It's not as like premium looking as for instance pickled steel. But when you see this box, oh, and that golden spidey sign, man, you just it's just a vibe. You just get that feeling, you know, that feeling of excitement. It's awesome. So here we have it nicely packaged. We have some paperwork here. And there we go. There's some different delicas. We have a saber grinds, we have flat grinds, we have what I assume is a titanium or aluminium scaled one. We have a worn cliff, we have Emerson mod, we have trainers, fantastic variety from, from Spyderco, very very nice, now yes, a sticker also, this can come up on the board, I still need to put stuff we do stickers on my board, I'm sorry stuff we do, I will get to it um, <laughs> soon, I'm gonna pull some stickers off and then create room for your stickers, yes, here we go, Spyderco Delica, oh man, oh man, this knife is absolutely iconic, absolutely iconic, Look at that. Wow. Look at that. It's a little bit oily. It's come a long way. Matthew's details will be in the in the description. So if you guys need something in South Africa that has to come from the USA, then consider contacting him. This is great. Wow, man. Yo. Feels very comfortable. I'm actually quite surprised that I can flick this knife. That's interesting. Because on all the reviews that I watched and the last one that I held, it wasn't flickable. You know, I could have I could roll it out, but it was still very stiff. So this is quite nice. Nice surprise. Very flickable. What I really like about this knife is that tip. Look at that. And now I'm seeing it in my, for my own eyes. And you know, if this was just straight, this is an intended design, right? If this was a straight spine. That tip would not be as strong as it is right now. But with that little roll, that little drop point, it creates a very, very strong tip. Full flat grind, so you know this thing is going to be slicey. I'm not going to do a slice test right now, because I'm still thinking of, you know, whether or not I'm going to keep this knife, or sell it. And I would like to sell it in a perfect condition. But um, if I decide to do a review on this, I will um, I will keep the knife. Because I don't sell the knives I do reviews on. Um, yeah. So look at this multi-directional texturing on the scales. Oh, this is very comfortable. Very comfortable. Now I, I, I just need to do this, right? I need to get the Freya real quick. Okay, here it is. The pickled steel Freya. Also a little bit dirty. But I was wondering who has the best, best texture. Yes, that's difficult. This is very, very good. I'm not going to lie. It feels like I have a little bit more grip. But it's not as comfortable as this. This is more comfortable, also fantastic grip, but um, not as grippy as the Spyderco. So there's a little bit of a trade-up. So this is less comfortable, but more grippy. Yeah, it definitely is, you know, multi-directional. <laughs> it feels like I can go anywhere and get stuck on this. This is so cool. Little Spyderco Delica 4 there in the center. We have a backlock, we have this... I ride pocket clip, which if I do decide to keep this knife, I will be switching the scales to some maybe titanium scales, and then I will also switch to a titanium pocket clip in the future. But your yeah, back locks are usually quite strong, and being you know made by Spyderco, you have that surety that this knife is going to be the best that it can be with its materials, with its locks, with its heat treat. We have VG10 on the blade. Which is a, just a fine steel, right? It's um, it's not the very best steel, but it's it's okay. It's quite similar actually to uh, to 14C28N, in my opinion. And it's a fantastic stain resistant steel. So good for everyday carry. Yes. Also, you know, 
I, I really think the Delica is also just a fantastic EDC in an urban setting. It is a smaller knife, but the way they've done it, you know, I really get a good grip, full four-finger grip on this tiny knife. So the Ergos is, is really done well. No hot spots. Like that it's rounded here. That's also something they went with on the Freya. Is uh, just, you know, soft on the sides, which is great because FRN can be a little bit, you know, a little bit hard. Here we see the, the, the Honey Badger. And the way the Honey Badger is done, it leaves these little sharp corners which can irritate your hand over time um, but not on the Freya, not on the Delica oh man, oh man, failed it there but this is not really created to oi, we can reverse flick it this is not really created to be a a fidget knife necessarily but it, it does have that effect can definitely open it one-handed can close it one-handed so comfortable yo I really like this nice uh, jumping both on the on the spine of the blade and also on the on the scales which is cool definitely not like irritating your hand not aggressive it just adds a little bit of a of a grip the jumping on the spine is basically perfect i mean i don't think anyone can knock spider ghost jumping i think they probably have the best jumping in the game in my opinion um because they've <laughs> they've reached that point where their jumping is it, it is comfortable, but it's aggressive, and uh, and that's where you want to be. And I don't know, you know, <laughs> how they've done that. But even on the tenacious here, that jumping is freaking serrations, right? But it's still comfortable. It's comfortable, but it is, it's aggressive, like super aggressive, but it's comfortable. So they have the the magic system to to create some awesome jumps. Very nice. Like the blade shape, you know, some people don't like the look of spider coast and obviously for me it's also not <laughs> going to be the the prettiest of all the knives out there, but it's it's cool. I definitely like the spider hole. It's very functional. Spider hole, you know, yeah, I, I almost wish they, they uh, I think they, they patented it, but then the patent did end. So now people can use the spider hole if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, let me know in the comments. But you're so, so functional. Wow. Love it, man. Fantastic, fantastic little knife. Spyderco Delica. Let's hope we do a review on this guy. If not, this has been a blast to experience. Um, yeah, I really hope that I do get to carry this guy and uh, review it for you guys. That's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Seiki City, Japan. So Japanese made. There's Spyderco's owners or you know, company CEO's marks. This is fantastic. Maker's marks. Yes. Maker's marks. Mm, nice. Very smooth. This thing has got to be fantastic in pocket. Let's hope I get to experience it. Right. Awesome, guys. Have a fantastic day. Have a knife day. And remember that no knife means no life.